All right, I'm gonna show you the Jim Mayer uh, 5K course today. I'm near the start line, uh, which is probably about 60 yards from where registration stuff's gonna be and where the actual trail is. I'll show you that real quick. So the trail is actually over that way and registration's over that way. We have to come off this road to this start area. We're gonna start a couple tents in Ferndale itself. And we'll get going now. So the first couple of tents is actually on asphalt before you actually hit the trail. You go up two blocks. Right here, we're going to make a right, so the second stop's on. So this spreads the field out pretty quickly, because you got a lot of room to run and get around people. And you make another right at this stop sign. park all along this uh, road that we just hit wherever you can find parking there's not a heck of a lot of parking for the race Registration stuff will be on the right hand side here where this little playground is. But you keep going straight, going to the train tracks. Now this is actually where you park. If you ever want to come and do the trail on the Ferndale side. Now we're actually on the Jim Mayer Trail. So let's see here. So we'll say point four is on asphalt to actually hit Jim Mayer. It's a nice little rail trail tucked into downtown Johnstown area, Ferndale. Actually goes in behind uh, Johnstown High School at one point. So this is a straight out and back 5K. A lot of people use this trail but right now being 2 p.m. a lot of people at work and such so you shouldn't have too much traffic today but we passed a half mile in of the race and we got 17 feet of gain nothing going down there really isn't going to be much change Got a nice view of the river the whole time.
this is also one of those good uh, 5k PR type courses since there really isn't much to worry about uh, traffic wise elevation change or turns so you can pretty much let loose and not have to worry about anything just more worried about running But you are going to run faster on the way out than on the way back because it way down or way out whatever should be down Coming up on a mile into the race, and we have 25 feet of gain, four feet of descent. The trail itself does uh, pretty much stay decently cool because of the river right beside it. So even on a really hot day, it's probably going to be about another 15 degrees, you know, 20 degrees cooler feel-wise than if you were running on an asphalt. There's a nice little mural in this uh, old railroad crossing that we're going to go right through. On your left. Right, we're going to come up to the turn. There's old Tom. Oh, it's Mango, baby. How you doing? Hey. Right. The marathon will happen. Hey, hold on. All right, so the turn's right around in this area for the 5K, so you don't have to cross traffic.
so we got 36 feet of down looks like uh, let's see here. 18 feet of, or wait yeah 35 feet 36 feet of gain 18 feet of descent that man so we're coming up on two miles into the race we have 51 feet of gain 22 feet of descent little bridge again now as you heard me say about the the gain and loss of the course elevation wise you are gonna feel it a little bit more heading back if you're really redlining and going for a PR whatever really racing hard you are gonna feel it a little bit even though it's what like 20 30 feet is what I said but there's no real drastic humps or bumps it's just that steady little incline is what will get you The trail itself right now is a little bit softer than it normally is, so take that into consideration. All right, so now we're at two and a half into the race. 59 feet of gain, 31 feet of down. Got a half mile to go. So once we get to here, uh, we'll call it this little heart thing. 
we'll call that a half mile left in the race because it's about 2.6 time to turn it on if you're going to turn it on or pass somebody or dig deep if you're going to go for a pr it does get a little bit easier once you hit this heart you got that little slight downhill for now All right, so when you see this bench, got about two tenths left, well, 2.5-ish. Maybe start kicking. All right, so once we hit this gate, we'll call it three miles even. So we'll tight go through. With 60 feet, uh, 63 feet down, 47 up. Then right after this train track overpass, your finish line is gonna be in here. Give or take a few feet. And there, again, this little park. It's gonna be where wards and registration are. Turn around real quick. So this whole street is where you're gonna be parking on the side or the upper uh, upper streets that way, wherever you can find parking. And that's your gym mayor. 5k course race preview.